Bokit Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and this morning, a very somber mood, a very so uh, solemn uh, assembly in Israel as the passing of Rabbi Yehuda Glick's wife, Yaffa. Uh, passed away today. Those of you that may know, she's been battling now. She had a massive stroke uh, some time back. And of course, Rabbi Glick was asking for people to pray for his wife as his wife had asked for prayers for him. Now, we actually had the privilege of meeting uh, Yehuda Glick as a MK member at the parliament there, the, or the Knesset in Israel uh, with Pastor Paul Begley when we were there filming for the interview that he did on the coming apocalypse on his television program there. And then we had the honor as well to interview him there in Jerusalem uh, not too long ago, my wife and I. Uh, and what a delightful uh, time that we had. Uh, just he has a real sincere heart and a love for the people of Israel. Uh, and for, of course, for the equal rights for both Palestinians and Israelis uh, on the Temple Mount and their right to both be allowed to pray there. Uh, he's been a very strong activist for that. And of course, as many of us know, he also suffered uh, the attempt on his life, October the 29th at the uh, Menachem Begin Center there where he was speaking. He was shot several times. This photo here of his wife before she fell ill. Uh, just really, she stood by him with such love and devotion and as he has with her. And uh, so we really, our condolences go out to Rabbi Glick, uh, his family, their children. Uh, and of course, they, she leaves behind with her, with Rabbi Glick, uh, an enormous responsibility. They have four children of their own. Uh, she had two from when her husband had previously died. And not only that, the enormous responsibility they took on after the death of the Ames family uh, that was there, uh, one of their neighbors that were uh, a terrorist killed their entire, they killed their parents and they took the responsibility of six other children. Uh, what a incredible love that this family has, showing the true spirit of the Jewish nature to care for their own. And I, I am just uh, saddened very much for Rabbi Glick uh, in losing his wife at such an early age. No doubt this is very hard on him and uh, our condolences certainly go out to him and his entire family. Um, and if there's anything we can do, uh, we certainly want to make that available to what we can. So we'll be sending an email to Rabbi Glick uh, there to see if there's any needs that they may have. Uh, that we might be able to have our community here with Israeli News Live to be able to help them with. <clears throat> so anyway, keep his family in prayer, uh, if you would. I know we have all types of listeners here at Israeli News Live, both Jewish as well as uh, Christian viewers, even Arabic viewers. Uh, we ask that you be praying for his family uh, because it's a very difficult time for him today. I'm Stephen Benoon <clears throat> with Israeli News Live. Shalom.